right, so there should be no flour on it. Right. Thick bank of frost would normally take and destroy everything off. You see, it has to, I mean, it has got hold of some. I mean, it will come they, on. They were serious, serious temperatures, but also we've got. That's been frosty, but what that's actually done. For How early you started application on this? Um, we, uh, yeah. well, we did the ones, you know, before they go to, like you said, put it in in the winter, you know, in the oh, autumn yes. time. Oh yes, on autumn time. So I had a couple of litres then, and then we started on the around about the second of February. Uh, early flowering is due to due to the croquets. No, I don't think early. I mean, they they naturally flower earlier. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we've got flowers here. Sure, sure, yeah. Well, we've got crops. We've got but we had those six nights. Uh, Another the, one that's. That was just when you were away then, so you didn't get to witness any of them. <laughs> no, but my blokes yeah. kept me informed because I was phoning yeah. them up daily. Frightening about that, uh, uh, getting over this. I came back. Great. I came back expecting to see nothing on here. I came back expecting to see them, you know, when they go all this horrible brown colour from the leaves, like that. Mm. I was expecting to see every single one like that. Right. What temperatures did you get again? Sorry, because I didn't get the uh, camera yeah, going was, until I was Minus that. two, minus three, minus five, minus six, minus three, minus two. That's uh, five days in a row. In a row. Yeah. And one day it wall. stayed below freezing up until 11 o'clock when they had this freezing fog. Mm. And they were, they were at that this stage here. Right. This one. Smashing it up. Mm -hmm. There's one there. They came out here and these were coated in ice. In ice, well, here you mm. go. It's proven that uh, strength is there and you will hopefully get a um, nice shape, also size wise. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, out of this. I, I think I told you last year, one of your guys last year, yes. that we were 10 mil up on size last year. As you're, you're using optimum uh, production methods, aren't you? You're actually uh, we're getting the best out of these anyway, yeah. and that's improved in other further 10 mil yeah. on the dimension. Yeah, it's the uh, fact. It's the, fact. I mean, I've, I've already brought a couple of people down to have a look at this. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. It is that we can have six days of constant frost. Expect to look. Uh, the last application from the frost was how many days? Um, we, well, when it gets to white bud, yes, we put on the jib, jib really, mm -hmm. for skin finish. Yes. So what we would do is because you can see they're all different stages, aren't they? That one's that's finished. Right. That's open. These are coming. So what we do is we go beginning of the week for a paid. Mm -hmm. Put that on first, and we come back out and we spray on the jib. I see. And then uh, we, we 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 have done that whilst we've had the frost coming up. I think we've done. Well, you know, we're the third week in February. We've done one a week, mm -hmm. every five or every seven days. That's right. That's the ideal uh, yeah. period for the course. We've, we've done every seven days because um, we looked at temperatures and they were all going to be cold. Obviously, you have treated all of them, no compounds. Well, I've done all of them. Oh, yeah. too valuable, too. It's valuable, yeah. I know, I know. You're not, no, I think you're no longer trying. You're believing to it. Oh, yeah. You're using it, is it? That's, well, the, that's the thing. Last year was, you know, okay. Yes. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it took a mile, one single minus five. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, might be doing something. But and this then we, then we got the increase in size and um, the pairs. Yes. Pairs, Can I on. just go around the other side and get you? Oh yes, yeah, so we, we did. We did two. We did a couple of applications on the pairs. We had really good skin finish. That was last year. Yeah. Yes. We had good, good size, and they won best in show at the national fruit. Now that's what I was going to ask you. This is the one one. Yeah. The, uh, the pairs from the yes. pairs that won at the, 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 the conference of the comics that won at the national fruit show. Yes. Came from that region. Well, congratulations! <laughs> congratulations! <laughs> you know, so, but having, now having seen this, with six days of frost, amazing! I'm yes. pretty, I'm pretty, pretty, prick. No, pretty I'm convinced anymore. I know it works. That's right. Well, 
uh, it's been uh, tried and tested over 10 years. So we are trying to um, find this kind of evidences to show the other farmers, other growers that hey, you know, you don't have to wait three years to see what's something happening. You can actually uh, be confident yeah. and try to yeah. use ASAP. Yeah, I mean, anybody asks me now, that grows, that Pantano a lot of people bulk at the price, but I say, yeah. well, well, what do you, I mean, I think I get it for like 48 quid a litre. I said, but 48 quid, I said, is cheap compared to a lost crop. Exactly, exactly. And then also, uh, if you have the increased yield and yeah. that quality, exactly, that makes a big difference. Oh, yeah, it's well, yeah. nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't. It, it's because normally people try things like anti-stress, I mean that's quite expensive, can't get it anywhere now. Um, they try other bits and pieces. There's what sort of price like, was that? Well, anti-stress, mm. that was 101 quid for about 10 litres. Yes. yes. But, the, but it goes on at, you want to get it on a minimum of five, 5 litres to the hectare. So. Would you actually uh, uh, see anti-stress would uh, Bring the same kind of a result uh, no, five days a row. No, stress. You put it on and it forms a polymer cover, doesn't That's it? That's right. So when it opens up, like when they're open, you can't put it on when they're open because it stops pollination. Exactly. Exactly. So limited. So I, can, I mean, with, with the crop aid, I can come out, I can put it on a white bud. When it's open, I've got nothing to worry about. Excellent. Well, uh, <laughs> It is uh, quite exciting to see you got a good news as soon as we come here. That's <laughs> yeah. great. So um, we were talking about uh, your uh, results uh, last year yeah. to a few uh, distributors, a few growers, uh, and the media, and we mentioned about it. But obviously, uh, we never had done our paperwork homework yeah. properly to be able to uh, represent. Is there any uh, uh, chance that we could be able to mention? Uh, to, for example, uh, horticultural magazine saying that, hey, this is what happened, would you like to uh, yeah. uh, write about it? Yeah, yeah. Is it okay for you? Yeah, that yeah. is, I mean, you can't argue with it, can you? That's it. That's it. I mean, you're trying to, as you can understand, think about it if you're yeah. in our shoes. Oh, yeah. This is what we have to do to yeah. be able to say, hey, it's a unique product, it is revolutionary, let's believe in it and try it. I mean, this is the most, this is the most difficult crop to grow. Yes. Because it flowers when it's frosty. So yeah, you're taking a big risk. Now and all of a sudden, yes. I'm thinking... You can extend. Oh, wow, this isn't such a risky crop after all. <laughs> and normally, I, I mean, I, sp I, I spent up to uh, last year and this year, I spent sort of like four years. Every night you go to bed worried. <laughs> you know, you're thinking, oh, is it going to happen? Are they going to have any crop left? And you um, actually... Um, Tried anti-stress before. Yeah, I've tried right? anti-stress. Do you? Did you use any other methods like irrigation or heating? No, or they've anything tried anything? candles out here that didn't work. Yeah. Uh, we've tried smoke. Oh, that no. hasn't worked. No, um, no, nothing like that seems to work. But. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to see uh, uh, the fruit comes out of this. It's, uh, so right, uh, now you you're actually treated to pears again. Yeah, the pears have been done. Quite a lot of bud here. It is, it is, yes. It is all, uh, I, I mean, I don't know where it, I mean, at the moment I can't say whether it's our pruning or whatever, but this is the most bud we've ever had in our, this, this parish. Are you, um, are you uh, treating all of them? Yeah, so, so far, but so far. I'll, I'll most probably, um, first six rows are always small, so what we'll do is we, we'll do half mm -hmm. and stop. And see whether it does boost the oh, size. Oh, right, yeah. Did you have any uh, uh, trees that actually stopped cropping? That you, you yeah, we've, we've, got, we've got some here, but they're still. I might have to give a fair reflection. Well, you can say that. Hmm. We've got some up, but you've seen a lot of leaves. Yes. We have started to get some. Which you didn't have before? No. No. But you. But. The problem with apricots is in England is that they hold their leaves for a long, long time. That's right. We have to burn them off. I see. Yeah, so I wonder whether they were going by England. 
its neighbour is exactly the same. Um, can say that we have got more trees cropping. Yeah, that's what that's what we believe you would receive uh, next year. Yeah. Uh, if there's a tree that uh, hasn't been cropping for a long time, start treatment from autumn, and the next year you will find. Yeah. yeah, yeah but there are a few more. Because we used to have a lot that were, um, well, I call them pine. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's brilliant. Is it uh, okay if I um, ask you to uh, summarize what you said in writing to me? So oh, I can, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be great. I'll write down the temperatures. Please, you know, it's what, something. I can, I can do the dates, the temperatures. I'll do the applications through February. Brilliant. I'll do the two autumn ones for you as well. Okay, that's um, that's that's what we were trying to uh, establish from the beginning of this, which, which is I'm um, very pleased to know uh, we came on the right time. Yes, just yes. recently yeah, come back. I mean, we're there's we're we're at fifty percent bloom now. Mm -hmm. I had my I had the, my advisor came down yesterday and he could believe it. Uh, is it from Mastock? No, um, this is uh, Paul Bennett from Agrovista. Agrovista, okay. Yeah, he um, he, he, he walks he, here and he said. Uh, he has uh, now understood what the propane was. He's, he's in there. He said, you can't be anything else. That's what he said. We, we were talking looking at him yesterday. <laughs> that just yesterday. It's quite recent. Yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 I brought him down to show him. I said, by rights. And he said, yes. He said, there shouldn't be anything here. But there is. And he, he said, well, I said, what are you putting on? And I said, gibberellin to the propane. I said, well, that's what. Well. Can't, argue, can't argue with what you're looking at. Obviously, uh, when the temperatures are like that and this, uh, the five days in a row, you don't need a comparison for another field, is it? It's, no, it's uh, beyond it's, expectation. Yeah. So, yeah. I understand. Yeah. I, understand. I mean, one or two days, I would have thought, yeah, okay, we might get away with it. But to, uh, we had six days. And one of them, I say, it was freezing fog and it didn't clear until one in heaven. Well, uh, we say when the uh, temperatures are goes down very uh, cold, freezing point, the antifreeze proteins in the actual plant yeah. will stay, will not be consumed. So uh, as long as it's uh, not too harsh, it could be seven days, you will be still fine. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a limit obviously for everything. Oh yeah, that, yeah. There's a limit. But uh, yes, uh, that's why in the winter, one application in autumn, it's enough sometimes for until the spring. Yeah. Yeah. Because nothing's growing, nothing's actually uh, uh, developing. So yes, brilliant. That's uh, well. It's a nice day also yeah. to take a picture of it. <laughs> and we've just stuck another thousand trees in the ground. Do you think that is going to reduce the cost of apricots buying, uh, or you know, competition will be uh, increased for you? No. It's such a big market for them. Market, yes. There's yeah. only people trying them. They're all very nervous because of flowering in February. Exactly. Exactly. But they won't be now. <laughs> no. oh, I'll have to not tell him about <laughs> no. it. Well, this is it, you see. Uh, we were wondering that, uh, should we, should we not? Uh, what the, you know, it, it, it is something, uh, eventually, everybody will know. And yeah. we, have, we have many trials happening all over the world. And we are keep receiving this kind of uh, information. And uh, everything that comes on time, which is right now, is the spring. And yeah. the way the applications needs to be done. People has got doubts, they should be starting without. Yeah. And we need to get the message across, hey, don't waste any time. Yeah. Everybody, everybody in the fruit industry lives in fear of frost. Uh, I'd love to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Music to our ears, yeah. isn't it? Well, they do. I mean, I can't argue. Nobody no. can argue. You can bring anybody you want You've got here. the evidence. And nobody can argue about that. <laughs> no. Oh, the sunshine, I love the weather. Mm. Okay, let's um, go back.